hi guys you're welcome to my channel today i'm going to show you how to draft a two top or strapless top so already i've drafted out the basic bodies block so just to put in the measurements and let's get started so the neckline bust points under bust and the waistline okay then we'll put in the that me, um, measurement i'm using three three quarter so you mark it on the waistline under bust and the bust point then we'll connect it the straight line then under the bust point you come down by one inch i always use this for the purpose of ease then on the waistline you measure one inch on both sides then under bust can come by one and a half or one and a quarter so i choose one and a quarter okay so you connect them then bring it to the one inch under the post point okay so the one inch will help us with enough ease at the bust area then you go to the shoulder whatever you measure there you divide it by two then you mark it and connect it to the bust point then the tube line depends on how deep you want the place to be so I just measure whatever I have from the bust point to my under bust, which is four inches, and I thicken it up. Then we we'll connect it. Then we also need a dart on the two line. So I'm going by one inch on both sides. Then we'll connect it to the bust point also. Just to ensure that our tube is firm on the neckline. Then we'll connect the we're smoothing out the um, sharp edges. See so I'm doing it carefully. Okay, so on the tube neckline, you can either make it a straight line or sweetheart. So it depends on how deep you want it to be. So only came down by one inch or three quarter inch. Then you connect it. You can see the way I'm doing it. Then from there, whatever I have will connect it to to the um to our arm or So that's the two neckline. Depends on how you want it. You can always say and that's a straight line. And whatever you draw, make sure it blends to the arm hole. Then we'll fix in the measurements. Seven three quarter as the waist measurement. Then the dart allowance two, which is two inches, and our one inch seam allowance. Then we'll come to the bust point and fixing the bust measurement which is 9.5 then the dot allowance also up there two inches we had it there then one inch seam allowance okay then we connect the marked point
so our front pattern is ready so we'll cut it out then add 0 0.5 inch yearning allowance down The pattern is ready. Cut them out. You can see the center front and the both panel. Then, when you're joining, remember to add the joining allowance, which is 0 0.5 inch. And also, this part can be used as a U for another fabric. Okay, so now the back pattern. Remember the zip allowance, which is very important. Then the bust point and the waistline. So this is a simple part of it. Fixing our dart placement. When you come down from the bust point by one inch, then you add 0 0.5 inch on both sides. So from the upper chest, from the chest line, you can just cut it directly from there or you bring it down to the first point or you can still go down below the first point too, it depends on how you want it. So me using the first point, so I'll connect it to the armhole. Okay. and that is it so we're fixing our measurements 7 3 quarter inch then 1 inch that allows then 1 inch seam allowance then on the chest see 9.5 inch <coughs> then we'll connect them Now back pattern is ready, we'll just cut them out and we'll cut it out. So thank you for watching. I hope this is helpful. Please feel free to share your opinion in the comment section. And you can always come back to my channel for more. Please if you are here to subscribe to my channel, subscribe like and share my videos with your loved ones thank you please and also remember to add your joining allowance 0 0.5 inch down there then for the dots you can either hold it there or you cut it into two thank you bye